excited that we're getting married because she's very Catholic, very conservative. Like, she doesn't exactly know that we live together until she watches this on TV. I'm so sorry, Mom. <laughs> but yeah, she's so conservative that one time she called me up and said, I don't like the idea of you and Andrew having sex outside of marriage. And I just had to explain to her, Ma, we are in a committed long-term relationship. We are not having sex anymore. <laughs> excited that I'm engaged because it means I don't have to worry anymore about when he's gonna propose because like I totally knew he was gonna propose you know like the signs were all there uh, we were loved up we were talking a lot about the future and also I'd set him a deadline <laughs> but I became paranoid I thought that it was happening all the time and in like really unlikely circumstances Andrew would be in the other room and he'd be like Janine can you come in here I, I can't find the screwdriver and I'd be like oh my god he's proposing <laughs> But uh, after a while, he was so annoyed by me that he was like, Janine, you have to stop anticipating it because I want it to be a surprise. So now I have to do something to throw you off the scent, which is why I thought it was very suspicious when he called me up one night out of the blue and said, I'm okay, but I've been mugged. I need you to come down to the tube station. And I thought, he's been mugged? <laughs> he's proposing. <laughs> I did a full face of makeup and a quick mini manicure for the photo. And by the time I got down there, I saw Andrew sitting on the curb, shirt torn, tears in his eyes, talking to this police officer. And I thought, oh man, he's committing. <laughs> it took me a while to see that Andrew had clearly been mugged. And by the time we got home, I felt so terrible. Andrew was really shaken. He was like pacing around. And I said, uh, just calm down. And he said, I I'm not sure if I had my headphones with me or if they were stolen. And I said, all right, just sit down, play a video game. I'll go look for your headphones. And the first place I looked was his bedside drawer where I immediately found the engagement ring. And I knew that I hadn't been there earlier that day because earlier that day, I had been looking for the engagement ring. <laughs> and I realized that Andrew had been mugged on his way home from buying the ring. So not only was he gonna propose, but he'd fought off a mugger to do so. Aww. So I did the only thing a woman in my position could do. I tried on the ring and FaceTimed my mom. <laughs> I said, mom, I found the ring in our room, his room. I live in a different flat. <laughs> I said, what should I do? Should I tell him that I found it? And my mom said, that boy's probably planned something special. Don't ruin that for him. But also hold up the ring so I can get a picture for your father. <laughs> and I sat in my room and one by one, I called every single person that I knew until everyone that I loved knew that I was getting married, except the man I was getting married to. <laughs> and then Andrew called out from the other room. He said, I'm starting the video game, Janine. Come in if you want to play. And I walked into the living room, smiling from ear to ear. Andrew looked at me and he said, I know. The graphics are unbelievable. <laughs> and I said, no, Andrew, I couldn't find your headphones. I looked everywhere. And he said, everywhere? And I said, yeah. <laughs> After the fight, we were engaged. <laughs> but I liked that it happened that way because it was spontaneous and unplanned, you know? Like right before he asked me to be his wife, he said all these really romantic things like, you ruin everything. <laughs> After a while, we settled down. We were cuddled up on the couch. I was looking at the ring, and uh, Andrew just went, well, I guess I should tell my parents. And I said, I already have. They are so happy for us. <laughs>